I'm Sonia Shavasra with the city of Bowie, and today I'm being joined by members of the Bowie Youth and Family Services Department. We're going to start off with Wendy Wilcox. She's the director, and then we have Nancy Imperio, and she's a clinical supervisor, followed by Rhonda Simon, who is a prevention coordinator. So I'm going to start with Wendy. Thank you for being here, all of you. So Wendy, I know that the department does a lot of great things for the city. Can you give us an overview of what you all do? Yes, we provide lots of support services and groups and individual and family help for kids in Bowie and their families, um, 18 and under. And we uh, do family counseling on an individual basis. We also provide groups um, both in the schools and in our offices. Um, some of the problems that people come with are um, smaller parenting problems. So if a kid has trouble in school and the parents don't know how to help them, we can assist with that. And we also help families when kids have mental health issues um, that they need help with. So all of these services are at a charge or they're free to Bowie residents? We charge uh, $20 um, a session for uh, City of Bowie residents for our counseling services. And um, we charge a larger amount for people that live in other um, close in areas. Um, we also have a waiver process, so if a family is having financial problems, we can help them. Okay, all right. So, speaking of counseling, we're going to talk to Nancy uh, D'Imperio. And mm -hmm. I know that at the end of this month, you have a separation and divorce group that is going to start. And that group is going, there's going to be two groups, but they're going to run parallel. Can you talk about that? Sure. So, our groups are are focused on helping parents um, help their children through the process of separation and divorce. So our children's part focuses on children ages 7 to 12 and our parent part runs at the same time and that group supports the parents and also helps them um, know what to expect with these changes happening in the house. Um, and any other supports that the families need, you know, we can offer in our group. Yeah. And it's about a five-week group, mm -hmm. and it will be starting um, at the end of September. Okay, and when you say it's a five-week group, so do you have a limit on how many families you can accept? There, there is a limit um, in terms of how many people we can have um, in a group. Um, we do have several uh, helpers, so we can usually accommodate about 12 kids tops. Okay, and tell me a little bit about um, a group like this. Um, mm -hmm. Can you give us an example how it has helped a family in the past? If there are people watching who are thinking about this, mm -hmm. tell us how this can help if they're going through this. Well, many times um, parents are in a situation where they um, know that they're about to separate um, long before the children know. So some of what is surprising to them is um, that the, the children are having such a hard time with the transition. So it's really helpful for them to talk to the adult leader about um, what to expect at different developmental stages for children, what kinds of things they can do to help um, them talk and um, get through some of the transition issues that happen including um, reducing some of the conflict that can happen between parents. Now, is there a cost to this group, and if so, how much? So the, the cost is around $60 for family for one-time fee, and we do have financial aid for that as well. So if a family's having financial difficulties, then they can apply to get a reduction from the director. So we should mention that this is $60 for that five-week program. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not not every per week. week that you have to pay. Right. Okay. And uh, moving on to Rhonda Simon. And Rhonda, you also have um, something happening at the end of November. Tell us about that. Yes, we have a family literacy night coming up on November 21st. It is to help for children K through fifth grade and it's to just reiterate to the parents how important it is to read to your child every day and that reading can be fun and that you can read and find ways to read every day. Um, it doesn't have to be just sitting down storytelling. So we have other ways that we can show you how to um, find the letters in your day and what those letters mean to your students and just realizing that they can read in other ways other than sitting down so with the story So you'll actually book. be having people read to the kids that day? We are day. having somebody read to the kids that day and we're having somebody talk to the parents. We are having um, games, activities, we're having a raffle, so we're giving away prizes. And we are also giving away like books, so every kid that comes is gonna go home with a book. 
Okay, and that again is on Thursday, November the 21st. Yes. What time in the evening? 6.30. At 6.30 in the evening. Well, ladies, it's been a pleasure to have you here. A wonderful department that does so much for our residents. And if you would like more information, you can certainly log on to the city's website at cityofbuoy.org slash youth services.